Hi, I'm Sean Carney. I'm the Chief Design Officer and Business Leader for our Healthcare Transformation Services here at Philips. Now, many of you may know Philips from our prior TV and lighting businesses, but today Philips is making a bigger and bolder impact than ever before in reimagining and redesigning the future of healthcare globally. Today we're striving to become the world leader in health technology and achieve our mission to improve the lives of more than 3 billion people by 2030, with other 400 million of those being in underserved communities. Now, particularly as we live through this COVID-19 global pandemic, our mission to improve lives is more relevant now than ever before. Even before this pandemic, we recognized four profound trends shaping the future of health technology, which have been further amplified during this coronavirus crisis. The global resource constraints healthcare systems are experiencing around the world is the first major uh, trend we see shaping the future of healthcare technology. Particularly with COVID-19, the shortage in medical workers and medical equipment has become even more apparent. Now, a recent report of the World Health Organization shows global shortfalls of almost 6 million nurses. This and other healthcare shortfalls are further amplified with the COVID-19 crisis, as we can clearly see intensive care units under considerable strain around the world. Compounded to that, we're anticipating a second wave in non-related health needs, such as cancer diagnosis and treatment, which are being delayed due to the crisis. Now, we predict this second wave will result in yet even more strain on that healthcare system. These constraints, even before the crisis, were driving a shift towards more value-based healthcare systems. That is, a system that aims to increase access to care whilst improving patient outcomes at a lower cost. Secondly, we're seeing an increase in ageing populations globally and therefore a rise in chronic illnesses like heart disease and respiratory conditions. This is yet another increasing strain and cost on the healthcare system, which is shifting care to networked lower cost settings and even into your homes. Furthermore, particularly under this COVID-19 crisis, we're seeing a reduction of patients coming into the hospital or any traditional healthcare environment for non-COVID related issues. This is forcing us to really rethink how we can deliver healthcare into the future. It's forcing us to rethink healthcare facility design and also accelerate modalities such as telehealth approaches so that we can bring healthcare services into our homes. Now, thirdly, we see an increase in consumer engagement. Individuals are becoming way more invested in their own personal health which is creating opportunities to focus more on healthy living and prevention. And last but not least, digitalization has reached the point in healthcare where value is shifting from standalone products to end-to-end -end solutions comprising of systems, smart devices, software and services. And today we're seeing the adoption of healthcare is really accelerating. We see it in the proliferation of COVID-19 triaging apps the amplified ability to share data across healthcare providers and to track and trace COVID patients, and also in the increase of virtual health activities, such as virtual visits to your medical healthcare providers via video conferences right there from your home. Today, virtual healthcare has largely been used for meetings and consultations, check-ins and status reports, rather than for in-depth diagnosis or treatments. That said, as technology now evolves, more serious conditions like diabetes are expected to fall due to developments in virtual healthcare. Now, these industry trends are fundamentally disrupting the landscape for health technology, challenging the way we deliver value to our customers, healthcare providers, clinicians, governments, insurers, and consumers. Facing four major global trends head on, we at Philips are going through a dramatic transformation where we are tasking ourselves to truly reimagine the future of healthcare in this modern, connected and rapidly aging world. On a recent trip to Japan, I was really triggered by this question as to whether we are truly being customer centric. Japan is facing some fast approaching societal challenges. First, they have a rapidly aging population 
Now, by 2025, it's estimated that around 30% of Japan's population will be beyond retirement age. And this figure is expected to reach 40% by 2060. Secondly, they have a shortage of medical facilities and medical workforce. In remote cities, cities like Chiba, the doctor to resident ratio is 16 to 1,000. And lastly, they're anticipating a dramatic increase in healthcare expenditure. Due to this aging population, the number of people requiring care for chronic age-related diseases will continue to increase, now with insufficient tax revenues from working age citizens to pay for it. That's a real challenge. As such, we took a step back and envisioned how will healthcare look in 2030. In a decade from now, we hope we will live in a world where everyone has access to healthcare. But how, you may ask? All of this could be enabled by one simple but fundamental shift in technology. Decentralized healthcare. Today, we're seeing a continuing and concerning trend where cities are building more and more hospitals to meet the demands of their growing populations. This may solve the problem for now, but it's incredibly expensive and not sustainable for the long term. So we began to think whether in 2030, hospitals could consist of only crucial elements that require patients to be on site. All the other functions could be redistributed and made entirely mobile in a network of hyper-connected autonomous vehicles. Instead of you going to the hospital, how about the hospital going to you? Okay, so when we reflect on these rapidly aging societies, we know travel becomes difficult for these people. Therefore, if we're really going to be truly customer-centric, shouldn't we bring healthcare to them? If we were to bring this vision of decentralized healthcare to life, diagnostics and therapies would be able to be delivered right here in the convenience of our own homes, minimizing the need for the elderly to really travel to get their treatment. Now this is a great vision, but could this ever become reality? Yes, we have three vehicles already in action today. Philips has collaborated with Aina City in the Nagano Prefecture and Monet Technologies to realize the vision of healthcare mobility. Now this vehicle you see in particular has been in operation since December 2019 in Aina City. Aina City is unfortunately one of those great examples of a Japanese town where there is a dramatically aging population, they suffer from a shortage of medical facilities and workers, and have an increasing number of patients who have difficulty going out and traveling long distances. Philips is partnering with these local practitioners to demonstrate the effectiveness of a decentralized healthcare model. And in particularly, we're providing tele-online medical care via this mobile unit. The pilot will run until the end of March 2021. The mobile experience will involve nurses visiting the patient's homes, allowing doctors to examine patients from the hospital by video phone inside the vehicle. Nurses will also be able to examine patients according to the doctor's instructions and take any necessary actions. Now, based on the learnings and insights from this pilot, we will strengthen the cooperation with local medical practitioners and establish a proposition to scale with local care hospitals in Japan as well as overseas. We're also already doing this in remote areas in Indonesia and Rwanda. In Rwanda specifically, we're partnering with an organization called PURE, which stands for Point of Care Ultrasound in Resource Limited Environments, launching a tele-ultrasound program linking specialists around the globe with physicians on the ground in Rwanda. The role of Point of Care Ultrasound in improving emergency medicine in Rwanda is really important. They have a limited number of radiologists that they can call on to perform scans, and as a result, there is often a delay in providing care to patients. Now, due to the tele-ultrasound partnership, local doctors can now make the emergency diagnosis in real time so they can better service their patients' needs faster and more effectively. When it comes to COVID-19, handheld and portable ultrasound solutions in particular have become a valuable tool for clinicians treating COVID-19 patients due to their imaging capabilities, portability and ease of disinfection. 
By imaging COVID-19 patients at the point of care, such as in the emergency department or in the intensive care units, clinicians can diagnose and monitor patients without the need to move them around the hospital, helping to reduce the risk of virus transmission to other patients or to other healthcare professionals. Now flipping to the other side of the world, Philips has recently partnered with the US Department of Veterans Affairs. The US Department of Veterans Affairs provides healthcare to nearly 9 million war veterans, one third of whom live in rural areas. Providing care to rural veterans presents real delivery challenges. This project entitled Advancing Telehealth Through Local Access Stations, ATLAS for short, brings care to veterans where and when they need it most. This will allow veterans to be examined at their local post through virtual appointments with medical professionals across the nation, saving them travel time and expenses. As you can see, our vision of reimagining the future of healthcare is coming to life in pockets of innovation across the world. But what's exciting is that we are only now beginning to realize the potential of decentralized healthcare. So let me share another short video which explores this potential. Once you have this mobile unit, you can start to configure to specific needs of specific populations. Here we see clusters of vehicles moving around town to manage population health based on specific community needs. Various vehicular combinations could create pop-up environments for services such as health screening, respiratory treatment or geriatric care. In times of emergency, these adaptive clusters will provide a dynamic response for incidents, natural disasters or global pandemics such as COVID-19. Managing all of this from a care coordination center, the health system controller constantly evaluates the needs of each situation, redirecting relevant medical vehicles and resources to efficiently form pop-up hospitals. Could this be the future of decentralized healthcare? where we're able to bring healthcare to you in your moment of need. Particularly as we find ourselves living through a global pandemic, we've realized that the need for a decentralized healthcare system is now needed more than ever. We need a healthcare system that is more personal, more accessible and more dynamic to address the world's ever-changing needs. At Philips, we know that no one company can bring this vision to life. It's absolutely critical to co-create the future of healthcare with you, our patients, clinicians, and other stakeholders. I'd love to hear from you as we redesign the future of healthcare.